Hey guys! Today we're making this cute and fairly simple miniature fridge. Hope you'll enjoy! First you want to figure out the size you want your fridge and then make some stencils. One for the top and bottom, one for the front and back, and one for the sides. Cut these out from a sheet of white clay and pre-bake. When pre-baking you want to bake at the same temperature you normally would, but just for a few minutes to harden the clay. Then put the pieces together. I used liquid clay and then some small pieces of white clay just to give it a better grip. Then pre-bake again. I then used the same measurements to make the door, which is basically the same, just not as deep. If you want the door to have two parts like mine, cut it, add clay to the two remaining sides and bake again. After baking I used a file to round off the corners of the top of the fridge, as well as the sides and top of the front of the door. To make the inside look a bit more neat I added some white clay all the way around. And I also cut and pre-baked some simple shelves, attached those and baked again. Now for the outside, take any color of your choice, roll out a sheet and cut it to fit. Then attach it using liquid clay. After baking that, I used a file and some sandpaper to sand the surface of the entire fridge. I also added white acrylic paint to the inside and for the back I chose to stipple on the paint for texture. Then make some simple hinges using two pieces of wire for each. Measure and drill two holes for each of the hinges on the fridge itself. And cut off some of the clay from the doors. Then glue on the hinges using any strong glue. I also cut and bent some pieces of wire and glued these above each shelf in the door. And of course, just like with most of my appliances, I'm adding SCS as the brand name. For this, I used the art emboss I used in my recent cutlery video and just used a couple of dotting tools to shape it. 
And remember, if you don't have the art embossed, you can also use the middle from a tea light. Make some simple handles from clay, bake, glue them in place, and paint them using silver colored paint or alcohol ink. For the glass shelves, I cut three pieces from some plastic packaging, and for the one for the freezer compartment, I stippled on some white acrylic paint and glued on some white sand. I also glued on white sand to the inside of the freezer compartment and this is just going to give a more frosty look.